Who's ready to go to bed, like, right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but we're here because we agreed to do it yeah. before we retired, and now we're tired, but we still have to do it. So, my name is Brad. Uh, this is Stephanie. I'm Stephanie. I'm <laughs> Squad. 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 Uh, so, I think maybe collectively we've been buying stuff from Japan for, like, 20 years. I think you've been buying stuff from Japan a lot yeah. longer than I have, but because I'm Bay in... Beyblades. But because I'm involved in Lolita fashion and other Japanese fashions, I'm really involved in buying online now. So I have a lot of experience um, very close together over the past like five years. Mm -hmm. Who here has uh, bought anything directly from Japan before? Directly? Mm -hmm. Nice. Why are you guys here? <laughs> <laughs> to find out a better way of doing it. Well, there's only so many ways. I think we found the ways that are pretty good. Yeah, the ways that are most efficient, I would say. Yeah. So. All right, you guys already know why you're here. Uh, so it's it's kind of daunting if you've never done it before. Those of you who've done it before know that once you know how to do it, it kind of becomes second nature. It's not very different from buying anything else. And I, yeah, and I think that a lot of people are scared by the language barrier. They see something that they don't understand, and then they shy away from the website, and they don't want to deal with it and buy that mm -hmm. stuff anymore because they're scared. Um, so there are really easy ways to kind of get around that. I would really. Well, easy enough. <laughs> I can do it, you can do it. All right, say so we'll talk about what you need to get started. Uh, Japanese auction sites like Yahoo and Mbok, which has one whole slide, Mbok, because it's pretty dead now. It's also very self-explanatory. I feel like Mbok is not dead for Lolita. I still find a lot of Lolita fashion items on there that you can't find on Yahoo Japan. I mean, we'll talk about Lolita. Yeah. The, the lone Mbok slide. The lone Mbok slide. Uh, shopping services, basically what you need to buy stuff directly from Japan. Uh, Taobao, Chinese Hong Kong marketplace, with a lot of fashion and a lot of counterfeit stuff. So counterfeit stuff too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much anything that you want is on Delta. And there's a few stores that I'll sell directly to you, which we'll talk about at the end. Oh yeah, there's one other bullet. Uh, important <laughs> tips. <laughs> uh, so this is, we're gonna keep this pretty casual, so if anyone has anything to ask or say or whatever at any time, just raise your hand or shout. <laughs> I feel like our, our main idea here is if you have a question about shopping that's puzzling you, you can raise your hand and ask us at any time, yeah. and we'll do our best to try to help you through it. So if you've ever been stuck with something that you never ended up figuring out, we'll try our best to yeah, help you. Yeah, don't worry about like disrupting the flow of talent or anything, it's yeah. totally okay. <laughs> yeah, we're being a little too long, nonchalant about this. Whatever. <laughs> I think they appreciate it. Who's not appreciating it? <laughs> we're going to be on it. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> All right, let's get started. Uh, <laughs> who here doesn't have a PayPal account? Literally yeah. nobody. No, there are people who don't have PayPal. Anyone? Not PayPal? Not a PayPal user? There's like three. I like That's you, impressive. I went to a bank to open my own account like 13 years old to use PayPal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's great. You need PayPal. Like, Period. <laughs> it's the necessary evil. And you know what? I've encountered some Lolitas in our local community in Toronto who are scared of PayPal and don't want to use it. They are and, right. And, and it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of bad, but you need it to be able to shop online. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, necessary evil. Everyone takes it. Uh, you can either transfer funds from your bank account or you can hook up a credit well you need no. Yeah, you can transfer funds or you can use a credit card and then you can do direct transfers, which is actually just PayPal loaning you the money and then taking it out of your account later. Yeah. And uh, like don't don't mess with anyone. Like don't get into a PayPal dispute. Because you're probably gonna lose. <laughs> Especially if you sold something, you're definitely gonna lose. Oh yeah, PayPal is not very seller friendly. Yeah. That's true. It's it, they almost always side in the favor of the buyer. Um, and that has caused some issues yeah. for me before in the Lolita community I'm selling. So, ideally, don't sell anything to anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> if you must, do it in cash <laughs> or like an envelope full of cash. Remember to pay by gift. Yes. Um, uh, do you want to talk about that at all? Uh, paying by gift. If you're paying anyone, try not to do it. <laughs> if you're selling something, try to get them to pay you by gift. Yeah. <laughs> it's your insurance to make sure that they don't file a PayPal claim against you when you're selling that thing. Yeah. But because we're talking about buying from Japan, mm -hmm. I feel like that's yeah, kind of a side Don't note. like mess with your shopping services. Don't send the money as gifts. Because if they screw you, you're screwed. And, and a, a lot of times people will try to send money by gift so that they don't have to pay shopping service fees um, because PayPal fees are typically amalgamated. Yeah, but they're going to charge you anyway, probably. 
Yeah, so you should always, that's something that you should uh, be conscious of when you're paying shopping services. They will charge you a small PayPal fee to cover their usage fee of Doxo. You can only trust yourself, that's the moral of this. <laughs> so get other people to pay you as a gift, but don't pay anyone else by gift. <laughs> yeah. It's not worth the 20 bucks you'll save or whatever. Yeah, depending on how expensive the item you're buying. Uh, this is literally a soft slide that tells you you need credit cards. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> In order to get direct transfer on PayPal so that the people you're paying get the money right away, you have to have both your bank account and your credit card set up to the account. That is necessary. It can't be one or the other. It has Either to be that, right. or you need, to, you need to have already transferred the cash to your PayPal account, yeah. and then you'll have it on hand. And that takes a little while. Uh, this mentions bank transfers. Uh, just try never to do these. You'll have to go to your bank. It'll cost you 20 bucks. It's going to take two weeks. Mm -hmm. And the form is insane, and if you try to write a Japanese address, they're not going to know what you're trying to do. And typically when you want to buy something online, you want to do it yeah. right away, because the item that you want is coming out yeah, right yeah, now yeah. or within a few days. And yeah. you don't have that time to set up that bank transfer, mm -hmm. so it's best if you just have it all set up ahead of time. If you instant. don't have a credit card and you plan on buying stuff that's not going to be available for very long, make sure you have money in your PayPal account. Yeah, it has to be pre-put in there. Pre-put. Pre-put. <laughs> put it in there. Uh, this seemed really cool when I made this slide two years ago. It's not super cool. Uh, <laughs> but for those of you who have not used Google Chrome before, uh, it will translate everything for you into a really broken English. You will learn to read it. Yes. <laughs> if you buy a lot of stuff, you will get that. Yeah. That language will make sense to you. Uh, all right, so Yahoo Auctions. Uh, I think this is probably the cornerstone of Maybe more, like if you're not buying stuff brand new a lot, if you're if you're looking for like good deals, Yahoo Auctions is pretty much where everything is going to be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I I think Kate, you're in here, right? Where's yeah, what's up? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh my god, hey! Fantastic Lolita buys most of her stuff secondhand on Yahoo Auctions. Finds the best deals. I am god. always <laughs> blown away by what you can find on there. Amazing. Yeah. Don't tell me your dream dress. I'll find it tomorrow. You'll, you'll find it tomorrow for me. Because you yeah. Yeah. always browse. Always browse. Oh look, I even put this little thing. The text explains what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's the most important. Uh, pretty much. Period. Uh, for Lolitas, pretty much all the clothes are listed under the angelic printing category, which is very strange. I guess they feel like that's the one that gets hit up most often, so they tag oh, that, everything. Is there a baby. category for baby? There is, but it's sparse. Most yeah. of the stuff is under Angelic Pretty or under both. Yeah, like a lot of times you'll see stuff like this because there isn't a dedicated category for the brand. Yeah. A lot of classic brands get put under like Emily Temple Dude or Jane Marple. That's interesting because those are not brands that we would consider very popular in the West, but I guess in Yeah, Japan. but they have YJ Dress that are really popular. Interesting. Like, like Innocent World gets put under those. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Uh, has anyone who here has used Yahoo Auctions before? I'm curious. Oh man. Ooh, not this that is many. not extensive enough. No? <laughs> All right. Uh, we can go to Yahoo Auctions right now, actually. Yeah, okay, can we? Yeah. Okay. It would be cool if we could show you kind of live how it works. <laughs> Sorry, we should buy something. Yeah. Not yeah. Go yeah, let's buy something. You want to buy something? <laughs> can we buy something? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's buy toys. Let's buy Common right. Rider. Yeah, <laughs> Beyblade. Do you want me to buy a Beyblade? No. <laughs> no. That's not fun. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out. <laughs> okay, actually, no, I've got, sorry, I've got like Facebook open and everything. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> so while he's setting this up, I feel like I should mention that you can't buy from Yahoo Japan Auctions without using a shopping service that dedicates their services to purchasing from those websites. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about some services that allow you to bid on those things in just a minute. All right, so I am. I'm connected to the internet. You cannot <laughs> tell me I'm not. You've got to be. I'm connected to the internet. I'm connected. <laughs> <laughs> Common writer guy. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, uh, this is actually great because I can show you one of the worst parts of trying to find stuff on Yahoo Auction, which is knowing how to write the words in Japanese. Yes. Uh, normally, Google it, if it's a Wikipedia entry, the Japanese is going to be right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can do this with fashion items as well. I'm sorry, we're buying toys right now, but I don't want to spend like 200 bucks. <laughs> it's fine. That's I really fair. want that melon thing. <laughs> oh god, I don't even look for that though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show them how. Alright. Proto. 
Stone. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you try, if you try to search yes. the English words yeah. on Yahoo Japan Auctions, you will get some hits because some uh, Japanese sellers do put the English terminology in their listings, but you'll get far <coughs> less because not all of them are doing that. So it's best to know the katakana for what you're searching for. Uh, so I may think that our ad help let's buy something on Yahoo Japan may have been way more complex than you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with this really poor connection. So I feel like it'd be fun if we were successful, though. <laughs> <laughs> we would rave about your panel if you were successful. Like, totally yeah. is the best thing If we're ever. successful, if we they buy something, you better cheer really loud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, well, let's, let's go back to this for now. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. We are going to do this. We're going to buy something. It's going to be great. By the end of this panel, it's going to have happen. <laughs> so, all right. This is an item page on Yahoo Auctions looks like. It's pretty awful. Like, it's just really ugly. It's very ugly. It's an <coughs> ugly website. eBay, eBay tried to compete in Japan, but they quit after like less than a year because Yahoo Japan is so dominant. It's very prevalent, yeah. Which is the only country Yahoo accomplished anything in in like a decade. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a little breakdown. Uh, so, prompt decision is what Google Chrome decided this is called, so that's what we're going to call it. Prompt it's basically buy it now. If you yeah. see this little price, a little shot card next to it, you can just buy it. Uh, this little down arrow gavel <laughs> is uh, making a little offer. Have you ever made an offer on anything, though? Made an offer? No, I've never done that. I've, I've never always... even asked a shopping service if they'll do it. They don't, they don't like it, the sellers. They the sellers don't want to like put it. To. Nobody asked them to put this there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this, yeah, so that's Yahoo Auctions. Uh, it's like, I didn't talk much about how to use it because it's really not super complicated. The hardest part is learning the words. We can't teach you all of the words for all of the things you would look for. Yeah, you have to uh, look for that. Your best bet is to ask. I'm, if, I'm sure pretty much everyone here knows at least one person who's in the Japanese fashion and they're going to be able to tell you exactly what to look for. Other than that, just Google it. Uh, most of these brands have Wikipedia pages or pages on other public wikis, and yeah. there will be the Japanese font. You don't try and translate these pages? Uh, so yeah, this is a screenshot since it's in my presentation, okay. but if we were like using Google Chrome, it would totally translate this page for us. It would auto-translate everything for you. That and said, it's not much more readable. I think it's the right thing to <laughs> choose translate. Uh, if you, uh, you for me, that. yeah, there's an automatic translation plugin in Chrome, like if I was in it. Oh, I'm using Safari. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there is one for Safari now, because you can use the uh, translate on uh, iPads. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. All right, let's go back. To um, the one of the things that I wanted to mention for those of you who are interested in Lolita fashion, um, I don't know if you know about the Lolibrary page, but it's kind of like uh, an archive of all of yeah. the things that have been released in Lolita fashion from various brands over the years. And they almost always have the name of the item and the katakana for the item yeah. so that you can just copy and paste that into Yahoo yeah. Japan options to find what you're looking for. Yeah, so, so that's a very if you're looking for a specific there. piece, Lowly Berry is probably the best. It there is the best. another one, but I don't think it's updated. Anymore. Hello Lace, I don't yeah. think that it's updated anymore, um, but some of the older entries, if you're looking for an older piece, you can find the Japanese writing on there. Come on in. Come. Learn about shopping. It's going really well so far. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> so many of you are clearly not Lolita, so I'm curious what you what you want to buy. Yeah, I'm also. If anything curious. in particular. Yeah. Shout Cos out. Cosplay stuff. Cosplay stuff. Cosplay stuff? Yeah, okay. basic stuff to start. I have a wig addiction. So. A wig addiction. <laughs> <laughs> you can find a lot of wigs on Yahoo Japan. There's a there's a self help yeah. panel for that right after this actually. <laughs> 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 Tommy toys. Tommy. All of yeah. the toys. Like Papa and Pirate. And yeah. gachas. Okay. Gotcha ponds are like little Japanese vending machine toys, which is kind yeah. of what we were looking for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is what we were looking for. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Guys, if you want body pillows, you can just say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them. Anasui cosmetics. Huh? Anasui cosmetics. Anasui cosmetics? Oh, cosmetics, yeah. Yeah, so cos yeah, cosmetics is a really good one, too. But uh, yeah, pretty much anything that's made by a Japanese company, you're probably better off looking on Yahoo Japan than anywhere else on the net. Because the prices will be better. Don't buy stuff in Zillow's room from Japan, guys. And don't buy stuff on eBay from Japan most of the time either, because yeah. it's very overpriced, especially cosmetics. We have a question about it. How's the shipping work? Uh, we're going to get to that? Yeah. I promise Just one you. Uh, so this is Mbok. Yeah. That's it. It's <laughs> <laughs>
Um, MLAC is very similar to Yahoo Japan <laughs> Options. It is used far less, yeah. but somehow seems to still be in use for Lolita fashion, which is why we mention it. When I go shopping on auction websites, I have both a tab open for Yahoo Japan Auctions and for MBOC yeah. because people list yeah, separately. Yeah, yeah. Um, the one issue with MBOC is some shopping services don't service it. It doesn't really have like an auto bid option. For those of you who don't know what shopping services, it's literally the next slide after this. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah. get to that. But some shopping services won't use MBOC, so if you find something uh, that you like on there, there may be specific shopping services that you need to consult to buy that item. We'll talk so, about a few of your options there. Yeah, MBOC literally means mobile auction, and some people really take this too literally because the only item photos you will find on MBOC are either stock photos or the shittiest cell phone picture you've ever seen in your whole life. And I can't recommend buying things that only have a stock image because you yeah. don't really know what you're getting. It yeah. could be a damaged piece. You actually have no idea whether you're getting what you see in the picture or something a little shoddier yeah. than that. And I would say anecdotally, Japanese sellers are more reliable, but yeah. they will, yeah. there are still people who will scam you. Yeah. All right, let's talk about shopping services. Yay. What is it? Some good intro. It's okay, you can get that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all chill here. Uh, so shopping services are basically people who make it possible to buy stuff from Japan. That's you. If you don't have a bow, it's cool. It'll still work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so most Asian stores, and we, I say Asian because we talk about Chinese sellers later, uh, won't ship overseas. They, they will say so explicitly. Uh, shopping service is basically someone or a company who's based in the item or the item's nation of origin, usually Japan. Uh, they will take this little pixel dress, they'll shrink it, and then they'll send it over to you <laughs> in, your, in your home world. <laughs> Over, over all the ways. <laughs> a lot of this is from two years ago, and I can't actually believe I made it. <laughs> uh, you have to pay them. Uh, that much. Did you miss it? I'll show it again. That one, yeah. <laughs> so this is a breakdown. It's not representative. It, or it's an example that's not representative, and actually, most of you will probably end up paying much less than this example suggests. Yes. But let's say, item cost is 30,000 yen. Uh, shipping within Japan. Thousand yen. It's like almost ten bucks. You can usually put a little decimal in there. Uh, so like, you just yeah, you just go back and you put the decimal. So one thousand yen, ten bucks. It's not totally accurate, but it's usually close enough that you can get the gist. Yeah, it depends on the exchange rate, but it's, it's which close is enough to which is okay right now. Uh, American Correct. exchange rates are like killing us. So oh yeah. Don't buy anything from America for no, this year. No, don't do uh, it. Bank transfer fee. This is uh, when Japanese when the shopping service pays the Japanese seller. They don't use PayPal, they just use direct bank transfer. Mm -hmm. This always costs 300 yen, and you will almost always have to pay it. Yeah, and 300 yen is like three bucks, so it's not yeah. a huge deal, just kind of factor that into what you're doing. Commission. So the shopping service takes a cut, obviously, that's how they stay in business. 10% uh, a little on the high side for some bigger services, but yeah. smaller services, maybe even. How, how much are like just personal services shopping now? Um, amazingly, the best personal shopping service that I'm going to talk about a little bit later on only charges 5%. All right. But some of her other fees are higher. She has transportation fees, things like that, yeah. so you can keep that in mind. Uh, PayPal fee. Uh, your shopping service does not want to pay the cost that PayPal wants them to pay, period. So they're going to charge you 5% to cover the PayPal fee. So this $305 item is now, oh yeah, got to ship to you. That's another. 3,000 yen or 10 or a lot. Probably. And this shipping to you situation can sometimes get a little bit dicey. So think about the size of the items that you're purchasing. Don't buy parasols if you um, can avoid it. Never buy them because they can get broken yeah. in the mail. Um, parasols are one of those things that it's much better to buy locally, I find, uh, if girls in your community are selling them. Um, but once I bought a couple of those, you know those alpaca plush toys that you guys see in the dealer's room all the time? Okay, back in the day, like a couple years ago, when people cared about those. when people cared about that, they were nowhere in the dealer's room. So we used to go on Yahoo Japan auctions and buy them and then ship them to Canada. Does anyone know what she's talking about? Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows. Why do you all know that? Because they're in the dealer's room. Right I saw them in the dealer's room. No, I saw a little one. Who has like a giant one with them right now? Nobody. All right, well that's it. That's Imagine that, but like... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so those come in 60 centimeters. And one time me and my friend Malisha bought two of those. I think actually we got four in total, 60 centimeter ones. And they were 500 yen each, which is like five bucks, yeah. right? But the shipping was something like 
80 to 100 dollars because they are this big and they have to send them in huge oversized boxes so trying to buy things that are mostly made of air yeah <laughs> so we ended up paying if we split that 100 between the four we ended up paying about 50 dollars shipping each was which was really 55 dollar alpaca 55 dollar that should have been five so yeah, in this so keep situation, in mind the size of the item you are buying and also the weight of the item you are buying. Those yeah. are not very heavy, they're just very big, but shoes and stuff, they cost a lot more to ship than like a dress or some accessories. Mm -hmm. so. so this $305 item is now $395. Yeah. That's a little higher than usual, but not so much. Uh, it's better if you buy a lot of stuff at the same time because then it hurts you a little less. And you can also bulk ship your yeah. items together and it's it feels a little bit said. better. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, two types of shopping services. She knows more about personal services, so I'm going to let her take that one. So personal shopping services are kind of a Lolita specific thing that I, I would say, but sometimes other Japanese fashions use personal shopping services as well. I mean, I think most of the Lolita <laughs> shopping services, they'll take you as long as it's clothing related, you think? As long as it's clothing related. Actually, sometimes they'll take you for cosmetics, wigs, and other things as well. Um, there's a wig shop in Japan called Cyprus. I've had personal shopping services buy wigs for me from Cyprus and ship them to me before. So basically what a personal shopping service does is they act as the middleman and they often go to the store for you to purchase items directly from the shop. That's not something that commercial shopping services do. And that's when you're looking at higher fees when you're actually going to person to buy things because it's a pretty big time investment for them. And also because you have to pay for their transportation because yeah. they're kind of traveling from where they live to the store. Yeah. Depending on how far they live, it will cost more or less. Um, and the reason why I use them is because I buy often from Angelic Pretty. Um, I don't know if you guys know very much about the brand Angelic Pretty. Um, but their releases are crazy and very often you need someone to stand in line for you at the store, get a lottery number, and then be lucky enough for their lottery number to be high so you can get the piece that you want. That's how rare those it's, things it's are. It's just as asinine online. I tried to buy a necklace for her and it took 40 minutes to check out. <laughs> server was getting slammed and then by the time I checked out everything else was sold out. Um, and one of the reasons why you might want to use a personal shopping service is because sometimes these brands have items released in store that never actually make it online, so you need someone to be there in person to get that item for you. If you're like, serious about getting stuff, just, you should probably use one of these. Yeah, like La Forêt Exclusives is something that happens with yeah. Angelic Pretty, and you can only get them if you walk into that store and buy it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we got. How much do you think for customers? Uh, we're going to get to that. Yeah. Ideally, nothing. Uh, that's, that's illegal. It's illegal, but it happens anyway. You could pay 50% of the item for it in customs. customs. And that's why we're going to tell you how to avoid it, but you shouldn't because it's illegal. So one of the reasons why I use these personal shopping services to buy for me is because even if I can buy that item on Angelic Pretty or Baby the Star Shine Bright website, they don't mark down for customs. Yeah. These shopping services do mark down for customs. So even if your package is worth $500, they can mark it as $50 for you. There is a risk involved in doing something like that. Yeah, because if, if it gets lost, the insurance will only cover whatever value they declared. So if you, if, yeah. if the box says $50, you're only going to get 50 of your 500 back. Yeah, so it's a risk that you take. If you use a very good shipping option like EMS shipping like from Japan. You're like the whole second half of my presentation. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it really makes sense with these guys because they're almost the only ones that do it. Like for example, Yahoo Japan and Mbox shopping services like Japonica yeah. often refuse to mark down for customs because it is against the law. My and favorite does, does, by the way, and we're going to get to that one. We will get to that one, yeah. So uh, there are some. It should tell you a lot about these shopping services that they're based on live journal and blog spot. They're really small time operations, usually run by people who are doing it as a passion project. But Chibi Tenchi has gotten so big as a personal shopping service that she now has her own domain. So TenchiShop.com. She has a website. That's she has an amazing. actual website. Um, and you can go to TenchiShop.com and you can uh, kind of contact her through there professionally. Like usually a team of four or five at least. They have websites that are very self-service oriented. You put in the URL of the item. You just write down what size or color you want or whatever. You can bid automatically without having to navigate through Yahoo Japan auctions. Uh, and they're usually way cheaper than personal services. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about in a few minutes is three bucks an item. 
flat, no matter what it costs. Which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, that said, the, the learning curve is a little higher. You have to be comfortable uh, navigating itself, but it's gotten a lot better, and the service that I'm going to talk about is really easy to use. So these are some popular ones that you find, yeah, they don't matter. Uh, mine is my favorite Zen Market. They're a service I started using a few months ago, and it's just really, really cool. Uh, it's kind of impossible to explain. It's really dry to try to explain how a website works through a keynote presentation, unfortunately. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get to actually buy something. But for now, it's pretty simple. When you go to their site, you present them this beautiful search box. <laughs> you write the name of the thing you want to buy. There it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, panel's over. Thanks, everyone, for coming. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, one of the great things about Zen Market Search is that it will translate your search for you. Which is great. It's search for famous search I write in Japanese. I wrote it in English. Seller, 10 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I sorted it by highest price so that items would not be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to get shopping back? So yeah, it's like, it's literally that simple. You put in the you put in whatever search you want to search, it'll show you the things. Little filters on the side, pretty self-explanatory, not gonna talk about the price filters, condition filters, seller filters. Buyout is the prompt decision, it's the buy it now option. With free shipping, don't miss your shipping. No, no, I've never seen an auction on Japan with free shipping. Me neither, actually, which is interesting. Oh, look at this little cursor, look at the joke. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I only highlighted this because it's really easy to miss, but the sorting options are really important. Uh, if you want to see the coolest stuff, you should just price title. <laughs> just, yeah. just start going backwards so you get the price you're comfortable with. Yeah. Like, if you don't want to spend $700 on this freaking thing. <laughs> well, let's say we do. Let's click it. Oh, no. Pretty nice, but you can't because they detected that the seller doesn't want to sell it to you because you're using your shopping service. And this is a really big problem. There are a lot of sellers on auction websites that do not want to deal with proxies and do not want to deal with people who are living overseas. Yeah. I don't know why this is such an issue. I realize I could I could actually show exactly how this works without buying something actually, so I'm just gonna do it. Okay. That's <laughs> too bad. I wanted to buy something. Yeah, me too. So we're gonna do it. Is there Wi-Fi here by any chance? So there is. There's Wi-Fi in this as well. Do you know it's a password? It's overloaded. There's no password. There's, it's open. Yeah. No. That sounds bad. Yeah. There's no way think. open Wi-Fi network in this because hotel is going. It's called International Plaza. All right. These guys seem to think it's going to go really well. I'm going to trust them because they've stayed for this. I got International Plaza. Right now. Yes, I too can read. Yes, I too can read. All right, it's connected. It's connected. It's connected. Thank you. Really like it's not working, guys. There might be like a thousand people on it. This is, this is, well, we just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm connected to it, so I don't know. And you, you compelled us. I trusted you. <laughs> I have faith in you. Now I'm stuck in this little Wi Fi icon hell where it's never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to buy uh, this thing. This little toy. Anyone know what this is? That's sad. Uh, <laughs> just turn the panel into showing them our favorite show. So uh, it's a toy from a TV show called Common Rider, Mass Rider. Some of you might have heard of it. I own this already, so I don't need it. But uh, let's go. Oh, no, there it is. So add a shop or auction item URL. Here it is. Quantity. Don't need to mention anything because it's an auction. I don't need to talk about the size or the color or anything like that. If you're buying from a store, uh, yeah. Okay, so place like a bid. It's really this simple. Click place a bid. You put the item. Uh, I have a fake balance because I took screenshots for this presentation, so I don't actually have that money, so I'm not going to click buy it because okay. I will actually buy it. Right. <laughs> so that is the button yeah. that has you. That's literally it. it. That's literally the end of this that process. Is extremely user friendly. I've never used Zen Market before. Yeah, I know. I've been harassing you about this for like six months. Yeah, I'm still stuck on from Japan. Well, we can check this out too. Give you a search number. Yeah, it's going well. <laughs> so yeah, uh, literally, it's really, really simple. And I'm like, I, don't, I know it probably seems like I'm just being lazy and I don't actually want to show you how it works, but this is literally all there is to it. The only other thing you have to do is actually make sure you have money in your account. Mm. Uh, so yeah, 
We talked a little bit about PayPal and loading money into your PayPal account. This is pretty similar, except there's no like instant transfer option. You really need to have a deposit on file with your shopping service. Uh, you see I've got 90 fake dollars in here. Uh, I did have 800 fake dollars, but I spent them on fake stuff. Uh, so it's just, let's say I want to add 9,000. So 9,000 yen. It'll tell you exactly what the total is going to be. I've never heard of web money before. Has anyone ever heard of web money before? Would you trust that? Well, these guys are really big in Russia. So maybe it's a Russian thing. Maybe. Uh, add the money. Can so you link your credit card instead of doing? No, you can't. you can't. That would be great. Do you really want to give these companies that you really don't know that well your credit card? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has it anyways. Yeah. You can do that on from Japan. Yeah, that's why I use from. Can you? I like just yeah, using my right. credit card. Because it uses your bank's exchange rate instead of PayPal's exchange rate, oh. which is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I used to use from Japan. I abandoned it because I really think the service is way better in pretty much every single way. I, I don't I know if like, you... I like paying with my credit card because yeah. of the exchange. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, I'm going to abandon this here because literally all it's doing is loading PayPal. And I think most of you know what PayPal looks like. It's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to ask me for my password and that's going to be it. So let's just move on. Not, not here. Uh, so basic tips. Make sure you understand the description. Uh, it's a Japanese, it's pretty hard if you don't speak Japanese. Chrome's English is helpful, but if, if it's like a two paragraph description, you should probably ask the shopping service to tell you what it says. Because it yeah. might say something really messed up. Like, um, this yeah. is a box and not an item. Yeah, that has happened. That happens, by the way. Yeah, and sometimes items that are shown in the pictures will not actually be included, and you can only know that by understanding the description. Yeah. So, for example, a handbill that is pictured with a dress may not actually come with the listing that you are buying. And you may think you're getting a full set, but you're actually not. Those are separate listings, so that's something to keep in mind. And like everywhere else on the internet, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So make sure you understand the description if you think you're getting a really great deal on something, because it could be getting really screwed. It may be stained, it may be rich. Uh, just like on eBay, I mentioned earlier, there are scammers. Like, they're not items that I'll stop for, it's like you said. Yeah, and um, sometimes people will try to sell blind Lucky Packs on uh, Yahoo Japan Yeah, so Lucky like Packs are like loot bags, but they cost hundreds of dollars. Yeah. They're usually, um, they're usually made out of like uh, leftover clothes during sample or sale season. Uh, some brands actually do make stuff just for Lucky Packs, mm -hmm. but basically it's a bag, you don't know what's in it. Yeah, and what I would suggest is um, sometimes you'll be looking for a specific item that came out in the Lucky Pack. Um, Angelic Pretty is one of those brands that designs specific items to go in their Lucky Packs. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to buy those things secondhand, it's best to buy from a listing where they actually show what is in the bag. Yeah, so like uh, any reputable Lucky Pack seller is going to open it to prove what, what is in. inside. Otherwise, you could just receive literally the bag with nothing yeah. you wanted inside it. I said don't buy homemade Lucky Packs, but actually probably just don't buy them. Yeah. Don't buy what? Lucky Packs, because you cannot know what's inside. Yeah, you should make sure If you really want to it. buy it from the store, don't mm -hmm. buy it from the seller, because they could have opened it, taken something out, and you'll never know. Mm -hmm. uh, sniping is not typically possible. Japanese auction sites are set up so that if you bid in the last five minutes, the auction gets extended oh, another five sorry. minutes. This is awesome for the seller and really crappy for you. <laughs> because you're yes. gonna you're not gonna get the great deals you could get on eBay sniping stuff. But there's nothing worth buying on eBay. It does make things a little fairer though. Yeah. Uh, like I, I you can't argue in systems, it's it it that's kinda what an auction's supposed to be. Because work if, like. if you want it that much, you yeah. will keep going up, right? So Yeah. That said, still bid as close to the end as you possibly can yeah. because you're still less competition at the end. Uh, yeah, always bid the maximum you're willing to pay. Don't be like, ah, oh, maybe I don't, I don't want comfortable paying. Like, pick your budget and really stick to it. If you're around when the auction's about to end, and you're losing. Feel free to amp it up, but you might lose by like a dollar. You and that feels do. really bad. And it's always by a nominal amount, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna happen. You're gonna really feel bad about it. There's nothing you can do. And if you put in a maximum bid with your shopping service, they're not going to go ahead and bid all of that right off the bat. It goes well, up incrementally yeah. as needed. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about them making your bid $500 immediately. Yeah, they will only put it as a reserve bid. It works just like eBay. eBay, yeah. It's just going to bid exactly as much as necessary. Yeah. Uh, Taobao. Yeah, Taobao. Does anyone not know what Taobao is at this point? Yeah, you don't? 
kind of like a giant Chinese slash Hong Kong. If you're not thing. looking for clothes, it's probably going to be pretty boring, probably. Yeah, we won't talk too much about it because I think a lot of people who are interested in Japanese fashion do already know about Taobao, um, and it, there's a lot of uh, replica stuff on there. But there are also some brands that exist exclusively on Taobao, which is why it's an interesting place to learn how to buy from. There's also phone cases, pajamas, wigs, only those things. There are a lot of really cool wigs on Taobao for like five to ten bucks, like cosplay wigs, yeah. especially if you're interested in non-fashion but cosplay stuff. It is some place to check out. There's some great Lolita brands you can find on Taba. So quality's pretty good now, I think. It's getting good, but it can be hit or miss. For example, I bought a blouse on Taobao the other day, and when I received it, it's fast the, shipping. Very fast shipping. <laughs> <laughs> when I received that blouse in the mail, um, the detachable sleeves had different lace on them than the rest of the blouse. What kind of blouse is detachable sleeves? Lots of Lolita blouses have to tap. Who here has heard of this? Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, right? Look at that! Yeah, so it's the like sleeves... It's like the 80s. It off. You, can have, <laughs> you, can have, you can have them short-sleeved, or you can have them long-sleeved, but these sleeves had different lace on them than the rest of the blouse, and I had to throw the sleeves to the Different lace than the rest... Wait, they had two kinds of lace? Two kinds of lace. And it was so bad. I just like, like ran out of ways so this one on. In the garbage and just keep the base blouse. So there are hit or miss sellers on Taobao and do keep that in mind. Not every listing on Taobao is going to be reputable. You can try to stick to some sellers that have been recommended by other people in your community. Hey, these ones. Yeah, these are some good ones. Yeah, you should buy for these guys. Uh, Antina is really good, especially for shoes which are really hard to find from Japanese brands because the size range is really limited. It's like S, yes. M, L, and I don't think secret shop is around anymore. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's terrible. I think terrible. I've found it too. I was trying to look for this. I know certain um, shops used to sell secret shop stuff. Yeah. But then like, they don't have them in the shop anymore. That's really frustrating. I know that Claba Online still sells their stuff, yeah. so as far as I knew, they were still active, but I guess Claba probably just has a relationship with their factory and is one of those resellers that yeah, still continues like, to like, carry their have, stuff. They used to have their own shoes, their own socks, they're gone. Like, absolutely That's so like, bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like wearing Secret Shop shoes right now, so I'm really upset about that. Yeah. I'm not going to wear Yeah. Um, uh, you want to find that store? Do that. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, you want to talk about shopping services for Taobao? For Taobao, yeah. I think most people right now are using the shopping service called Taobao Ring. Yeah. I use Taobao now. I know it's really outdated, but I still use them because I have a good reputation with them or like good, good reputation. <laughs> well, they trust me a lot. Sometimes they won't deal with you if you have had problems with them in the past. So I don't know. I have a relationship with the people that I work with there. Um, but Taobao shopping services. <laughs> It works the same way as with Japan shopping services. Um, I don't, I've never used Taobao Ring personally, but on Taobao now they have like a sheet where you input all of your information, just like Zen Market, the URL of the item, description of which ones you want, what colors, what sizes, and then your shopping service will go forth, contact that company, and get your stuff ordered. One of the things that you have to keep in mind with Taobao is sometimes it can take a really long time to get your stuff made. If it's like, a, like serious. Like literally six months to get your stuff made. Yeah. Um, so, sorry. Brad is. Yeah. Apparently like, they're bad. Not. You wanted to say it, but then you realized it rhymed and you didn't say it. Huh? But they're not. They're a good brand, but yeah. they do take a really long time to fulfill their orders. So because they're taking a certain amount of orders, if they take too many, it takes too many months for them to fulfill them. Um, so I think that. Um, that you should ask your shopping service if you really want something right away to kind of let you know what the production time is going to be for the items that you're interested in. I just want to say, like, if it seems like we're getting really high level, it's because this stuff can get really granular. And, like showing everyone how to navigate categories on a website, I don't think any, this is something anyone wants to sit through. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, there is a learning curve. There's a serious learning curve for doing this. And <laughs> really the best thing you can do is talk to someone who knows. If you don't know anyone, Come see me, I'll give you my email address, email me any questions you have about trying to find anything and, and we'll make it happen for you, seriously. Because community is so, so important to learning how to do this right. Um, and typically, another thing to mention with Taba Shopping Services, um, you often get billed in sections. So first, you get billed for the item itself, then later you get billed for your shopping service fees and your shipping. So it comes in different transactions often, depending on when they receive your items. 
So just because you've paid the first portion off doesn't mean that's all you have to pay. There may be later fees. That Actually, that's sound advice right. in general. You're going to pay more than you ever expect to. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for 13 years. And I'm still like, oh, God. Remember when you bought all those common Rider toys and the domestic shipping was... Oh, like, yeah. I, I bought like $100 worth of toys and I think $200 to ship them. <laughs> <laughs> Giant plastic things add up. Oh, yeah, you have to click the button. All right, that's it. Uh, so, yeah. Shopping without services. There are some cool places where you can buy stuff without a service. This is a great thing to do if you've never bought from Japan before, or even if you just want to look around. These sites are typically way easier to use than Taobao or Yahoo Japan or anything like that. Uh, obviously, top tier Lolita brands and other, a few other really like well uh, established Japanese brands will sh sell directly to international customers. And there's even some great second-hand shops like Alice Kurun and Paul and Child that will ship directly to you. Uh, these stores are great. Uh, if you've never been to them, check them out because they have a lot of stuff for both men and women. And they update usually at a set time every week. Um, yeah. I believe Closet Club it used to be Saturday mornings. Is it still Saturday mornings? Thursdays and Sundays. Thursdays and Sundays. So literally not at all what you said. No, not what I said. <laughs> we're, we're you can tell how you can. You want to like come up here? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell how often I use them. I don't actually go to Closet Child very much. I think because Yahoo Japan Auctions is usually like the source for my secondhand stuff. So I, I buy secondhand there. stuff anymore. No. It's exhaust. Like if this doesn't teach you anything, is that buying secondhand stuff in Japan is exhausting. You. What's up? about marking down order directly from them. Uh, yeah. Yes, we mentioned it earlier, but. Uh, I don't know if closet child will mark down. I get they, the don't. they don't. Yeah. They don't do it. No. So yeah, as Stephanie said earlier, one of the best advantages is getting a shopping service is that it's often cheaper to have a shopping service buy from a store that would have just shipped it straight to you anyway. Because domestic shipping, bank transfer, etc., that's going to add up to like maybe 20 bucks top, which even if you mark down a package, is customs are probably going to cost at least 20 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. We have a question over there. Actually, I have a recommendation yeah. for another website where you can find um, second hand stuff. Yeah, Usagi Okinsen. I've never heard of Usagi. So it's what? really obscure. Like, oh. yeah, I've got a lot of things. Yeah. That's where I got this. Um, is that new? Is that something that's only not come new? Out? It's just nobody's heard of it. Oh, that's so really interesting. So you can use PayPal and you can use any shipping method you want. Is it PayPal? Directly? Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> That's really rare for Japanese stores Very to take rare. PayPal. It's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the competition that Fox and Child has for things that Yeah. So, uh, Zozo Town is a, is a big favorite. That was not right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zozo is a really, really huge clothing store. Uh, it's probably my final leader on it. It's, no. it's, I would say, I don't want to use mainstream because there are alternative designers on it. But it's, it's more like a department store, I guess. Uh, really huge price range. You, if you want to spend 20 bucks or 2000 or God forbid, $20,000, uh, you can probably do it at this store. Uh, they do ship internationally. They accept credit card and PayPal. And they'll ship overseas. Uh, no shopping is required. Again, the caveat that they won't mark down for customs. So consider using a shopping service anyway. And again, same caveat applies to this site, Rakuten, which is Probably the biggest online marketplace. I think so. Have many people heard of Rakuten before? It's quite popular. Yeah. So you can browse the whole site in English. There's uh, global.rakuten.com. It'll, just like Zen Market does, it'll translate your searches from English to Japanese as well. It'll return English results with American or Canadian prices. Sorry, I'm, my, my brain only works in USD and Japanese yen anymore. There's no other currency. <laughs> Except now, because USD is recently big now. Oh. Uh, yeah, search engine smart enough, it'll translate for you just like Zen Market will do. Uh, by default, it'll only show you items that can be shipped directly to your country. If you, you can change that, it's a little thing. Ship to Canada, little drop down, ship to Japan. You can s just select Japan because that's everything on Rakuten. There's nothing in, on Rakuten that won't ship inside Japan. <laughs> Tenso. Yeah, so um, Tenso is something that I use very often now. Um, because one of the biggest Lolita brands in the world, Angelic Pretty, now only accepts orders using a Tenso forwarding service. So, so a forwarding service is different yeah. from a shopping service in that you receive 
a Japanese address that you can plug into websites that ship only to Japan. By the way, the checkout forms on Japanese websites are like the stupidest stuff I've ever seen it's in my life. It's very convoluted. Yeah, it's like applying for like an immigration. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to live here, I just want a goddamn dress. Check this box, if it's not checked, you yeah. failed and your dress and like, is gone. It'll like ask for your name in like, like regular Japanese yeah. characters and like phonetic, and it will tell if you're bullshitting. If yeah. you like put in a fake phonetic name, it's like, that's not right. Yeah. You didn't write it in the right kind of characters. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Um, and Tensa is very easy to sign up for, um, so you kind of just it sign is, up with do that. They, but do they still do the identity verification? Yes, I was just going to This is the craziest nonsense. So you can sign up for it very easily, but in order to get your first item shipped to you, you have to verify your identity with Tenso. This has to be one of the only websites I've ever encountered that does this. So you have to scan something that proves your address. Like a, like a, like a passport or like a hydro bill or I something. wouldn't use my passport. Yeah. I used my driver's well, license. Well, you need a photo ID and you need proof of address. So you can send two things. Yeah, you can send yeah. two things. You can have like one card and then you can have your yeah. piece uh, of mail. They said this is because of a law that mail forwarding services in Japan now have to ask for this. I've never seen it anywhere else. Any other website. Yeah, so I don't know if they're lying or Nobody else is diligent enough. No, but they are exclusively used yeah. by Angelic Pretty. I would say with the really low prices of shopping services now, the use case for something like Tencel is pretty limited. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say if you have a good relationship with a store, you can use something like Tenso to just to just give them your Tenso address, and Angelic Pretty, as she said, mandates it. Yeah. Other than that, um, I would say I really might recommend it. Yeah, I think that it's kind of like a necessary evil for those of us who are Alitas, just because if we want to buy <laughs> those of us. Because if we want to buy something from Angelic Pretty, it's something that we actually need to understand how to use. Mm -hmm. um, so now that I have it, I use it for other things as well, just because then I can consolidate my packages mm -hmm. through Tenso and have my stuff from AP shipped with my stuff from other websites. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things to mention about Tenso is there is a limit on how long you can wait between consolidating packages. I believe it is 30 days. Yeah, and most shopping, so oh yeah, we didn't talk much about consolidation, so this is a general. We should, yeah. Uh, best thing you can do when you use shopping services is buy multiple things and have them all shipped together. In both. Uh, not only because it's great to buy stuff, but you'll get more bang for your buck if you buy a lot of things at once, because you'll only have to pay a ton of fees once, and obviously sh shipping is more expensive the more boxes you ship. It's better to ship one heavy box than 10 light boxes. I feel like I should have picked up more specific, like less unreasonable numbers, <laughs> but I've done that. Yeah, I've uh, done that. Okay, uh, so yeah, it's all that you're shipping. Uh, yeah, most shopping services have a limit of 30 days, which is, can be kind of tight. Uh, Zen Market is 45 days, and I would trust that they would extend it for you if you ask. They have a really good team. Uh, they speak fluent English. I'm not sure if they're even Japanese, because one of them is named Margarita. I don't know if she's lying to me or what. <laughs> <laughs> seems like a, seems like a sort of name someone might make up to yeah. convince you that they're not Japanese. <laughs> Tenso will not extend your consolidation time, though, because I had to try to get them to, and they were going to yeah. charge me Basically, $10 to do it. the running thing about Tenso is a bureaucratic nightmare. It so avoid it at all costs. But if you want to buy from Angelic Pretty, you have to use it. And the reason why you would want to use it instead of buying from like Angelic Pretty San Francisco or I don't know, is there any other website now? I think it's just those two websites you can buy from now. <laughs> why you would want to is because some of their items actually only ever come out on their Japanese website and never go to any other website or part of the world. They're there and when they're gone, you it never is, see them. It is e-commerce is just a disaster all around the world. <laughs> uh, Final thoughts. Uh, before we move on to the final thoughts, is there anything anyone wants to ask? There was a lot of information. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier how there are some like store only exclusives, and they yes. want to be able to go there to get them before because they don't even show up online. How do you find out about those if you don't show up? You online? have to be engaged in those communities already. If, you have to. If you're, if you're. Like I hate to go back to the little example all the time because obviously I'm not, and I don't think it's the only use case, but it's the most common one I think. If you're a Lolita and you want to buy shop exclusive stuff, you're probably already following Facebook groups or news sites that will let you know when that kind of thing's happening. So kind of like what I said earlier, community is so important <coughs> to doing this well. You really need to get in touch with someone who knows what they're doing. Five minutes? Okay, holy. I feel like I didn't say anything. <laughs> you said a lot of things. Uh, customs. Uh, we've talked about this a lot already, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, 
you, I guess all of you know what customs is. They, yeah. they check your mail, it comes to the country, see if they can charge you more money for it. Taxes. Uh, customs can reach as high as 40%, it might actually go higher than that. It's an insane amount of money. Uh, really do whatever you can to not pay this, because it will make you just stop buying stuff from Japan. It's yeah. not worth it if you have to pay customs every time. Your shipping services are sending it like regular mail, right? They don't use the courier companies that uh, do mail you for the customs crap? You can pick. You just, well, some services you can pick. Uh, Typically they won't use like FedEx, UPS, yeah, those, those kinds of yeah. services. DHL is one of the ones that they do sometimes use in Japan, and they do charge those those up front plus their own fees. So, so plus we're, we're running out of time, I'm just going to say, use EMS shipping, always, three to five days. It's gonna be rerouted to Canada Post, so you're not gonna get charged any crazy duties. Sets for express mail shipping, right? and um, that's pretty much it. Always use EMS. And it's inexpensive from Japan. And it's tracked. Yeah. So if you're shipping stuff with low insurance because you faked the value, you want to know where the package is. Because if it gets lost, you're done. You're, you're never gonna get back, and you're never gonna get your money back. Uh, yes. Marketing the package as a gift will not always prevent customs charges if you can help. You should do both. Uh, Zen Market will actually let you set whatever you want the customs to be on checkout. It's that a little box, it's just 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Don't mark it like $5. 50 bucks <laughs> is a pretty good measure. Yeah. I've never been charged customs on like If they open a box less. and it's, it says like five bucks, it's shipped from Japan for like 50 bucks, like they're gonna, they're gonna know you're full of it. But 50 bucks is a reasonable amount for a dress. So does the shipping service people. take those tags off that inside says 4,000? My yen personal shopping service that I talked about, Shibi Tenchi, she does take the yeah. tags off okay. at your request. Right. Just yes. to make sure, they they'll, don't get nailed. They'll all do it at your request, so yeah. if you, you should probably ask them to do that. Uh, item condition. Use items that often have visible wear. You will not always get a like new item. That said, you often will. Japanese <laughs> ja Japanese fashion fans tend to take pretty good care of stuff. Uh, if they're in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not in Japan, is the same caveat supply. But like, Japanese site, 9 out of 10. Or it'll be rated like rank D. And it's got like a, a loose, little like a loose stitch or something. Yeah, it's like a loose thread. Yeah. Right. Uh, Always inspect the item post closely, which is one reason to never trust auctions that only have stock photos. Mm -hmm. And you can, uh, Zen Market will, for a small fee, actually check the items for you when they get them to guarantee that they're uh, what you paid for. Yeah. And I guess any personal shopping service will do the same for you as well. Yeah, they will. Uh, yeah. Sellers will always take all the damages, which is exactly why you should do that kind of thing. Uh, so, really final thoughts. It's easy to like get into this and buy a ton of crap. I think my first package was five thousand dollars. Oh my god! It was stupid. It was like my first full-time job. Do not do this. You are going to get stuff that doesn't fit. You're going to get stuff that quality you don't like from brands you've never bought from before. Start slowly. Build a word. Or, this is very fully centric, I guess. Well, yeah. It is Japanese fashion international. Yeah. Start slowly and build it over time. Buy one or two pieces at first. Mm. Okay. And you, and you know what, you may strike out, you may buy something online that doesn't fit you or flatter your body shape. You actually will. Shape. I will say, you will strike out. It's going to mess up sometimes. Especially at first, you'll strike out way more often than you, than you think is justifiable. But there are a lot of communities yeah. where you can sell those items that don't work out for you, and you shouldn't let that discourage you from continuing to look for items that will suit you yeah. better and you'll like more in your wardrobe. You will figure it out. You will find the brands that work for you, the sizes that work for you, the sellers that work for you. So don't be discouraged, just keep at it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, we have like one minute, so you can probably just leave. But <laughs> if you, have any if you need help, come up, and talk come up take a card, email me, and I will help you with whatever. <laughs>